Does it actually work? How does a CERM work? More or less, a CERM works by tricking the body into thinking that estrogens are low. I made this chart right here. So the CERM, selective estrogen receptor modulator, like in clomiphene, will sit on the estrogen receptors in the hypothalamus. So it thinks that, to use the furnace analogy, it thinks it's colder than it actually is. So it tells the furnace, spit out more heat, spit out more testosterone. So the CERM tricks the hypothalamus into thinking estrogen is low, produces more GnRH, which then hits the pituitary, increasing LH and FSH and all the downstream hormones, eventually testosterone. So a CERM more or less is tricking your body to produce more testosterone. Does it actually work? It does for the right man. And let me explain who the right man would be. So you have two different types of hypogonadism, two different types of low testosterone. You have primary versus secondary. Think about primary hypogonadism or primary low testosterone being the furnace doesn't work. The thermostat is sensing that the temperature is low. You can crank that sucker up as much as you want, but the furnace just is not turning on. This is primary hypogonadism. The testicles are just not functioning. You may have normal or even elevated LH on blood work, but the testosterone is still relatively low. That's primary hypogonadism. So for the most part, and clomiphene is not going to work for this guy. The reason being is because you can get LH as high as you want, but if the furnace isn't working, it's just not going to produce more testosterone. Conversely, secondary hypogonadism is the furnace is working, it's just not getting the right signal. You can increase LH and that's probably going to help increase testosterone for men with secondary hypogonadism.